Alright lads, it's time for me to show you the best mods for every weapon in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. And we're going to start immediately with the brand new shotgun, the Sovereign Shotgun, because this is the one that needs probably the most unique kit of this weapon set. Now for the first time ever, I'm going to recommend that you put a scope on this shotgun. And that's because it's got a very unique way that its reticule works. When you're hip firing, you have a much faster rate of fire. But when you aim down sight, you choke it up. And you see how height that round collection is so when you have a scope on this weapon you actually have the ability to quick scope with this shotgun take quick shots you see you see the difference there you got to do it a little bit too long though to make it comfortable so we're going to go back in and it cannot take a mag by the way however we are going to put the angled foregrip and a suppressor as well, because suppressors on shotguns just make your fights quieter, makes you less likely to get third party. And now, you see how fast we aim down the sight. So say you're getting in a peak fight with someone. Now, you have the ability to really hit them hard with this Sovereign. Because the real skill of the Sovereign is right here, in this range. It's not too suited for right there. But now... You have a much more combat effective weapon moving on to the gatekeeper and this weapon can either be the worst or the best shotgun depending on how it's kitted and it all depends on the magazine you want to get a drum mag without drum it has three rounds with drum it has five and it's not even that long to reload either you see that was a pretty quick reload animation up to you whether you put a side on it however i would recommend getting a laser because it has a triangular ridicule and this will just make it a little bit tighter and since this can't take a suppressor you should put a muzzle brake on it however brakes recoil that's not really how the shotguns function that's more for the rifles and smgs so this doesn't really help the weapon hammer pump is the build meta now and with this weapon no sight you're gonna be right up in people's faces against their walls you're not gonna be aiming down sight with this thing don't waste your gold speed mag you cannot put a drum mag and that's okay and the only thing you'll want to put on it since you're not planning to aim down sight is a laser however this one can take a suppressor where the gatekeeper can't so i guess it has that benefit you hear how quiet that is damn suppressors on shotguns very nice I'm going to move into the rifle class since I have a combat assault rifle here and we have all three. But first, I'm going to start with the striker burst. Now, this thing does not really kick all that much, so you could afford to put it two times on it. However, you should know that this has reduced aim assist for controller players. So it really depends. If you're a mouse player, you can afford the two times. If you're a controller player, I would not go above the one three. It can take a drum mag and I definitely recommend putting a drum mag on this weapon because it really is a long distance plane. Anchor. the reload time doesn't matter too much on this and because of the strategy we're doing with this you also want to get the angled foregrip reduce the ads time and definitely get a suppressor on this so that people are just confused by where you're hitting them you'll get really easy flanks using this weapons and it's going to excel in squad modes in particular this is a high precision stealth weapon and if you use it to its advantages you will get a lot of results from it now when we're talking about its brother the striker automatic this thing kicks a bit more but it has more aim assist on controller. However, I think it kind of evens out. You're gonna wanna go 1.3 scope either way. Now, I think that the reload time when it comes to these special magazines corresponds to how many rounds are in the initial magazine. So because of this, I've been putting the speed mag on this striker. It, it reloads almost instantly, so the extra rounds of the drum mag don't really matter. The grip on this thing is where you have a bit of a toss up. It really depends on what mode you're using, how you're planning to use this weapon, because you could put the laser on it, if you're a build fighter and you're planning to get in people's boxes with it. Or you could put the angled foregrip if you're planning to do a lot of aiming down the sight. But if you're having trouble with the actual recoil, I would go with the vertical grip and the muzzle brake at the same time. Because with this weapon, it's all about controlling the kick. And our final rifle is the combat assault rifle. This one actually has less kick than the striker. So if you want to throw a two times on it, that's all well and good. But it does have less aim assist. It has the same as aim assist as the burst, and that's about half. Putting a drum on this would be very beneficial. You would have the highest magazine rifle in the game. And now it kind of sucks that we got eliminated right there. But the same principles apply with the grip and the barrel. This is an automatic weapon 
but it doesn't kick as much as the striker so you could play around a bit more you're not so burdened by the recoil attachments now let's get into a new game and talk about the light ammo weapons with the light ammo weapons i'm going to start once again with the newest weapon and that is the monarch pistol now this thing is a devastator at long distance so you want to get the best scope you can and sadly that's only the 1.3 you do want to get the drum mag on it though because it puts it up to nine rounds in the chamber from seven and that's a nice little increase unfortunately you can only get the laser on this and it does have enhanced fire rate when hip fire very similar to the sovereign shotgun so i guess it has a bit of multi-purpose utility here now i don't think this thing really has recoil in the same way so there's no real reason to get that muzzle break just get the suppressor make your shot smaller make yourself a ghost when you're using this weapon Ooh, look at that. That's like 007 right there. Moving on to the Ranger Pistol, this thing is also kind of niche. If you have a better spray weapon, you're probably not going to be picking this up. And to really get the maximum potential out of this weapon, it has to be kitted. Give it the longest range scope. And give it a drum as well, because you do kind of pour out rounds with this weapon. The only thing you can put on it is the laser. Though it's going to function better as a shotgun pair than the Monarch pistol will. Now the real secret sauce of this pistol is that you give it the muzzle break. And when you give it the muzzle break, it's going to severely reduce that recoil, make it essentially a laser. Look at that. So this thing kind of becomes a short to mid-range monster. You could surprise some people with it, that's for sure. Something like this. And it's going to double damage for headshots as well. So I guess that's the real magic of the pistol, though. I find more use from the Striker ARs this season. Unfortunately, the dual micro SMGs cannot be kitted at all. And in my opinion, they're already pretty damn powerful if you have them up close. These are just straight up not for range. Don't be trying to plink people from distance with these. You are going to get lit up. And our last light ammo weapon is the Hyper SMG. And with this, I would recommend only giving it a 1.15 time scope because it has extreme fall off damage. However, you should give it a drum mag because the real purpose of this weapon is to get through walls. And say someone has like a series of walls and you're really just trying to chop through and replace those walls. You're like, boom, you know? That's going to be the most efficient way to use this weapon. Drum mag 100%. I didn't even use half the magazine right there. Look at that. Now, because of this, I would recommend putting the laser on this weapon. Some people put the angled foregrip on it. But again, I think it's kind of useless to try to hit people at range with this. And in that sense, I would also recommend the suppressor. I'm big about keeping my close range fights quiet. Because the quieter you keep your close range fights, less likely you are to get third partied, more likely you are to win the game. And it's kind of one of those things that doesn't help you in the moment during a gunfight, but it, it sort of metagames. It's part of your entire strategy. So when you're modding your weapons, consider the strategy like this. From long range, you're looking to reduce recoil so you can hit more shots. Up close, you're looking to reduce noise so you reduce third parties. Anyway, that's it for this video. Maybe check out this one next to me where I actually rank all the weapons in this season, including the Marvel powers, to show you what the best loadout is. Comment down below what your favorite weapon of this season is. Like and subscribe and use code SAHARD in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel.